let's talk about virtual microphones. Um, so what are the, the settings that you can change for virtual microphones? You simply uh, press your microphone track and then you're going to have all of this information. There is this generic description of your microphone. Also, you're going to select what type of microphone do you want. You could say, okay, I want a mono microphone. So you have the traditional uh, cardioid figure of eight, uh, hypercardioid, things like that. If you want stereo microphone, you can have several stereo pairs like mid-side uh, and Decker tree and things like that that you eventually may use. Some of them may have some additional parameters like in this case you can change the, the angle of the software, uh, the angle of the virtual microphones, things like that. Um, in some of them, for instance, in here, the mid-side, you can output this as a left, right, or eventually as a mid-side channel. So you can, depending what you want to do, you can decode it, the, the MES and the left, right. And also there is support for ambisonics, first order, uh, sound field, a format, third order ambisonics. And, but most of the times you probably will want to use this multi-channel and the multi-channel allows you to have several uh, channels at the same time so you can set up all these speakers so you can have uh, 5.1, 7.1 or even some uh, immersive formats like uh, 9.1 uh, Adobe Atmos Bed or 11.1 or 22.2 .2. so essentially you can have all of these and also you can change uh, the settings so you eventually could say okay now I have this custom setup and I want to render everything for my scene for a special uh, a special um, setup speaker setup that I have so you eventually can change all of these um, and in that case it's going to appear all of these in here, when you have your mic microphone track selected, it's going to appear some some uh, arrows that give you information on what is happening in terms of what is what are the directions of the speakers. Okay, and and also you can see in here on the spherical view that it also to give information about what are the the speakers located in this case you have the your image so you have the center the left surrounds the rear surrounds and the overheads above your head so you can change all of this also you can change the position of the microphone because by default they are at the, the center of your scene but eventually you could say no i want eventually to bring this slightly uh, to a different place or something like that, you can change the, the azimuth and say, okay, I want this to be pointing to a different, uh, not to front, but I want to to point the, the microphone to a different uh, position. So you, all of this allows you to control the angles of your, of your microphone. Also, there is this idea of stems and the idea is sometimes you are imagine that you are in a battlefield and you have explosions and you have uh, another group with with planes passing by and other groups with screens and eventually you want to render everything differently with different stems to to make sure that during mixing you have all the flexibility to to change the volume of that so essentially what you can do is you can create different stems by default a virtual microphone will capture the sound of all the groups and all the particles but eventually you could can be here imagine that you have two groups and you could say okay i want this part this microphone to only capture the sound of particle emitter one and you eventually may add an additional microphone that will going to the, capture only the sound of the second group so in this case each particle each uh, virtual microphone will only capture the sound of a specific group so you can render everything and you're going to render a microphone that only has the screams and the, 
a different microphone that only has the the uh, explosions and so on so you can change all of this and of course you can also say that i want to include all of or eventually i don't want to include any of them uh, because i only want this or something like that and also there is this checkbox that allows to include all new groups so if later on i have changed this and later on i add a new group if i want to add new groups also in here or eventually say, say that okay i only want to capture the sound from these particles over here and even if i add new groups to my project they are going not to they are not going to be captured by this and finally you can say where do you want the the your uh, the sound to be uh, uh, mapped in terms of the output device so essentially you come here and say okay i want the the left channel to be to be outputted on my channel number three of my audio interface or something like that so you can say how do you want to listen to your to your um in terms of your audio interface